Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, as we are playing with the Fear Right mod as the Kingdom of Italy. So, uh, the war's going well so far. Uh, over here on the German front, uh, we are currently just sitting on the defense, letting the Germans throw themselves up against our entrenched positions, and they are taking massive casualties. 1.88 million so far, and 1.1 of that has been done by us, either here uh, in Anatolia, or I think we've sunk quite a few of their ships here. Some of those might have been divisions. Uh, and then, of course, in Anatolia, we are currently uh, winning, trying to get the Turks defeated, cutting off troops, getting them destroyed. And these are uh, Russian troops, German troops, because remember, the Russians are sending, uh, they're sending volunteers to our enemies right now, which is unfortunate. Uh, they're going to have to pay for their treachery. All right, so the uh, first thing I want to do is spend our, our experience, because we have a lot of it. So let's go ahead and start spending it. We're going to go ahead and deck out our tank uh, units first and get them up to pretty close to 40 width. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to add one more tank here, and let's go ahead and get them a bit more firepower. And it's going to be a lot of self-propelled self artillery here. That's really going to be the bulk of our stats. Uh, and seeing organizations pretty garbage right now, see if we can't improve that a bit. Put some more motorized. Uh, there we go. Uh, organizations at 28. That's not bad. Uh, we won't get the anti tanks right now because I'm going to get some uh, tank destroyers, some light tank destroyers once we research that. And this looks pretty good. So I don't like. Um, I mean, we can keep the name here, uh, but we need to uh, we'll put it on armored uh, for armor names. Uh, but yeah, we need to give a name for these guys. Right now, I'm just going to call them light tanks uh, so I know what they are, but we need something more. Oh, damn it. I forgot I have my. Uh, <laughs> numbers and shit set uh, differently. WSD keys are set. Uh, what my uh, keyboard can do is switch the uh, WSD keys with the uh, the arrow keys, uh, which is nice. Because um, otherwise, with with uh, Paradox games, not all of them, but a lot of them, E4, Hearts of Iron, and I think CK2 as well, uh, the only way to change to use the WSD uh, is if you uh, go inside the code and change it, which is a real pain in the ass. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. That looks good. Uh, and I uh, did set that back again. All right, excellent. So we have more experience. Let's go ahead and spend it. I don't want to do both the infantry units and the tank units at the same time. Uh, just I'm a little bit worried about our front. Uh, so let's just do the tank, but we will do the mountains because there's not really a lot to do with them because we can't add uh, more mountain troops yet. Uh, so let's instead give them some anti-tanks and... I'm tempted to do recon as well, but I kind of want them to have supply. Uh, so let's just give them anti-tanks for right now, because uh, I think that would be super helpful for them. And we are starting to construct some anti-tanks. Uh, in fact, I think we should probably construct a bit more. Uh, let me just take a look at where we're at. We have three factories going towards that. Let's put five factories towards it. Uh, and a bit more towards the self-propelled artillery as well, because we need a lot of that. All right, excellent, so that's looking good. Uh, I've already traded for some resources here, so that should get fixed here in a second. Uh, yeah, it's just oil that we're lacking now. Let's trade with, the, oh yes, we're having trouble with Venezuela. All right, we'll trade with Canada. Get a bit more oil there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the situation here, see if we can't get this knocked out, finished. Get these guys defeated here. Uh, having a lot of difficulty for whatever reason. Um, getting them destroyed, it's red. Uh, I don't know why. When they're incredibly weak, we should be able to finish them off here. Uh, and then we gotta get, destroy these divisions. Uh, and once, there we go. Uh, once we get this done, then we'll work on getting Constant, Constantinople if it isn't already done yet. Why do they want to give us expeditionary forces? Yeah, why don't you... I mean, sure. I'm gonna accept them just because it feels like the Brits aren't doing anything with their troops. Uh, so let's go ahead and take them. And uh, let me take a look at their designs and see if they're garbage. They're not bad. We will make use of them. Uh, what we're going to do is let's place them on this purple front over here uh, where we could really use a bit of assistance so that maybe we can push forward here. We'll bring the purple troops over there, or bring the uh, British troops over the purple front, and once they get there, uh, we might launch an offensive over here. See if we can't start pushing them back because they're looking pretty weak overall, guys. Let's go ahead and say we don't want to be notified of that. Uh, seeing a lot of attacks by the French and stupid stupid attacks across the river um, Not very smart, but whatever you can't really can't really help it. The AI is gonna do dumb stuff Yeah, I have a lot of difficulty destroying these divisions here, but I think there was more than three before Oh, United States of America just declared war on the Republic of Panama. 
Okay, well, let's take a look at the situation down here. I wonder why. Why did they declare war on him? They're social conservatives? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why they did that. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, it looks like America is now winning in the uh, conflict with Metsco. Uh, they're starting to push forward now. Okay, so the Mexicans had a little bit of a success uh, briefly, but that success is over. All right, uh, we want to go up to speed four here. All right, we've got this done. Let's go ahead and give them a, another front over here. And all you guys can go over that front and get these guys wiped out. Our divisions here are pretty much just defending. Not even very effectively either. It looks like we're losing there. Panama has already capitulated. That was not surprising that that happened relatively quickly. Uh, and we've got our national focus complete. Excellent. I don't remember what that was. Uh, so let's just go ahead and hop over there and see. Okay, research bonuses. Excellent. So we can go with bomber development. Uh, support ship uh, development. Or expanding our air bases. Is there not anything else that we could possibly do? I almost want to do these just to get the... Uh, the factories. I think we might. One thing that was brought up was instead of conquering Albania, uh, attacking them and annexing them the way I kind of wanted to, and they don't really give you a whole lot, we could just bring them into the faction and then conquer somebody else. Uh, namely, like uh, the Kingdom of Montenegro or Yugoslavia. Or never mind, that's Greater Serbia. Both possible countries we can attack later on that have a bit more resources for us as you can see here, uh, than little old Albania. So I think we will go ahead and ask them if they want to go in the faction. So far we've had no luck with any of these uh, national focuses, so yeah, I'd be surprised if uh, we are able to do it effectively. So we can't get the resources we need from anybody. Try to trade with the Americans. And let's also trade with the French for a bit of tungsten, and then we need steel, so let's go ahead and trade with the French. Yeah. They're our main allies. I still feel a little bit more loyalty to the French than I do the Brits, uh, because they've always been part of our faction here. We're gonna go and launch an attack there. Throw these guys into the attack as well. Hopefully get this wrapped up uh, soon. And Panama was annexed. All right, there we go. So this is done. So I'm gonna throw these guys onto this front. Um, and pretty much all these guys can go over there. This one guy can wrap this up. And uh, then we're going to start pushing the Turks back, try and take the capital, and get them capitulated. All right, awesome. Uh, so everybody's coming over to this front, and we should probably give them a planning bonus. Let's have them go grab Constantinople. Let them get onto the front. This guy could easily take some lands. So let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. Uh, they don't have enough troops to uh, guard the entire front. We do get integrated support, so that's excellent. Let's go ahead and continue on and get the regimental combat teams. This is going to increase our... Uh, uh, the organization of these units. So this might actually improve. Yeah, they're up to 30 now. So pretty good uh, overall from where they're at. We got 56 there. Well, they have uh, 45 organization because we haven't really done everything that we plan on doing with them. Uh, just taking a look at the front, see how things are going. As you can see, the, the Germans don't have the strength anymore. And I think that's equipment problems right there uh, that they're having. Yeah, it looks like they're having some equipment issues. Uh, this is also, it's still it's snowing. It's uh, winter of 1939 now. Uh, well, uh, I guess it's not winter yet, but... Uh, Kingdom of Lithuania has capitulated. Oh, well, that's not good, because that was part of the Polish uh, faction. They were uh, there. Actually, they're part of our faction, technically. Uh, but they're the Polish... They're uh, puppet. Puppet state. All right, so we got all our troops over here. It looks like we did have to fight for this one, unfortunately. Uh, they are starting to take some territory there, but I actually don't want to attack there. I would, in fact, prefer to go this way. Uh, so we're going to attempt to see... Well, we're currently defending, so there's not really a whole lot we can do at the moment. Um, but let me see if I can't attack here and just attack both these, actually. No, it doesn't look like that's going to be a victory. All right, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead, pull this attack back, Pull these attacks back. Oh, I just have to do this individually. And then we're going to decrease the front so that it only covers right here. In fact, we're not even going to cover right there. Oh, we have to. Never mind. Um, so we're going to attempt to attack this way, one of these two provinces, to get the rest of these divisions. We do have to take that one as well. Uh, but to get all these divisions cut off and destroyed. 
All right, so we'll let our troops move over there, get a bit of a planning bonus, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, while we kind of focus over here, seeing if we can't advance the front at all. Did we get the British troops here? I think we did. Um, let me see here. Yeah, it looks like we got all the British troops. So what I'm going to do is let's let's go and launch an attack uh, and see if we can't push them back. Uh, so we're going to attack with... Oh, we're going to defend, actually. They just uh, they knew I was about to attack. Let's go and attack with these guys. Looks like we could get a victory there. Let's go and attack over here. And we're going to attack here as well. And I'm seeing victories all the way across. Excellent. How are we doing on our Air Force? Ah, we could be doing better uh, overall. Uh, and all of our planes, I think, are still... No, let me double check. They should be... Oh, no, we want them up here now. Uh, yeah, having them here is not as useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and move them right here. And have them focus over here. And it looks like we actually did have one fighter that was currently over there. Uh, so let's go ahead and move him to right here to give us a little bit of a bonus in the Western Balkans. All right, excellent. Looking good, guys. Okay, so our, our generals, I've noticed, are really starting to level up and get some new skills. We got Organizer over here for Messe. Uh, he's also a Mountaineer, uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, he can't, unfortunately, there's nothing available to him, even though he does have an upgrade. Uh, this guy over here, uh, he hasn't gotten any abilities, however, he has leveled up to, to three now. Remember, he was two, and our level two guy is now one. Uh, so they're starting to get some experience, our generals. Let's take a look at the situation over here and see... Yeah, they're advancing this way, but that's good. Uh, so I want to launch the attack. Well, let's just do it here. Because it looks like that's going to be a win. I'm going to see if I can't win in both of these uh, with this guy's assistance. We'll just attack them on both those... Both those provinces and hopefully get a win in one of them and we'll get the rest of these troops cut off once we take these ports. Uh, we'll just kind of go straight for the ports. And that's the entire uh, Turkish army pretty much. Uh, in addition, that's a lot of German troops, though mostly cavalry. And cavalry is obviously uh, <laughs> not very good. Uh, but yeah, we'll get all of them cut off and we'll get them destroyed. Uh, so soon, guys, soon. Uh, I still would like to launch offensives here, but really we just aren't uh, able to yet. Alba I Albania, if I can talk, has decided to join the Entente, so it actually did uh, end up working that time. All right. Um, somebody speculated that it has to do with our total score up here, and that's what determines whether they accept it or not. Uh, so I think we're going to do it, develop the colonies here. I know this is in Africa, uh, but I think... It's going to be worth it, just for the dockyard and the civilian factory. Uh, which one do we want to do? Well, I think we're going to do East Africa, because we have two there, two areas, and that means more stuff. So let's go with that. Just to get the, that factory and that dockyard, Kingdom of Poland has called Albania into the conflict. Uh, so that's like eight more divisions. I think that had been eight last time we looked at ten. Ten divisions that can kind of assist. We don't know if they'll assist at all or not. We'll just have to see. Uh, still attempting to win here. We did lose that attack as expected. Uh, but we might have these guys, after they get their organization back up, support this attack. So at least we'll get one of the attacks done. Uh, taking a look at this front. Still very good on the defense. They're just throwing massive amounts of manpower and equipment away. And that's how we're going to win this conflict, guys. Just sitting on the defense. It's not the most glorious victory, of course. Uh, but... You know, obviously it's one of the easiest ways to get a victory. But they're at 2.31 million uh, casualties, 2.32 now. Just throwing away their manpower. And all these attacks in the winter of all times. Maybe this spring, guys. Maybe this spring we'll launch our offensive. We did win over here, which is excellent. Let's see if we can't get another victory. Uh, we'll attack here. Uh, it looks like they might be fortified there. In fact, that might not be the best place to attack. Let's go and pull back. Um, I don't want to attack their forts if we can avoid it. We're on the defense there. I wonder if we get a victory here. And if we supported with these guys. Push them back across the river. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to get a victory there. Excellent. So we pushed them back. Got back some of our land. Um, over here, this does look like it's now going to be a defeat, unfortunately. All right. Well, what if we throw some more troops over there? Yeah, it looks like our troops pulled back, unfortunately. Uh, their organization was a bit too low. Uh, we'll go ahead and attempt to launch another attack here soon. All right. Attack. And we get it done. We got field hospitals twos. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get... We do want maintenance companies and we do want logistics. So we're probably going to want to get those researched soon. Uh, we could also get this for Ford attack, which would be nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the engineer companies first. Since those will apply to, you know, the divisions that are already out there. Uh, so how are the, did the tank units do on their strength? 
Yeah, they're still trying to get there. Uh, just taking a look. Um, I do want to build divisions, but I kind of want to uh, build out their designs first. Uh, it's, it looks like light self-propelled artillery is the main issue we're having. Uh, and support equipment starting to look a lot better. Infantry equipment, obviously, is stacked. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and, and make some adjustments here, guys. Uh, let's, let's pull from support. And where would we want to pump this into? Obviously, artillery, we could use more of that just to for upgrades. Uh, but let's, let's go ahead and pull artillery so that we can pump more into the light self-propelled artillery and the anti-tanks. Uh, and fighters as well with some close air support. All right, so that does change the resource situation up. Uh, we're not getting anything from these guys here. Uh, oh, wait, we are. Never mind. We're getting the 24 we're supposed to. Uh, we just need to trade for a bit more with the United States. And let's go ahead and do those adjustments to our infantry divisions now. I think it's about time. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to do... Well... I'm probably going to do anti-tank over here, so we won't use a, a slot there. Uh, let's go ahead and start building these guys out. Uh, we'll give them some more infantry, obviously. And more artillery, too. So get some artillery going. And we do want to use this slot over here. Um, yeah, we're going to want to get some anti-tanks going here. Um, you know what? Let me just do it differently. Let's remove all these guys. Like so. And then, oops, yeah, we'll do it this way. Uh, infantry. And then we'll put the artillery over here. There we go. Gorgeous. All right. And then more infantry here. And then we're going to want to put some anti-tanks in here as well. Uh, we'll probably do anti-tank right here and right here. And then just infantry across until we get our desired number. There we go. 40 combat width. This is what it's going to look like. These are our numbers. Not looking bad. Really good organization. The organization is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I like this. Let's go ahead and save it. We need a, a name for these guys as well. That you can post down in the comments any name. Uh, hopefully it's Italian-minded, uh, since we're Italy. But yeah, post some names for our infantry, for our light tanks, and for our Alpine mountain troops. Uh, we need three name suggestions. And whichever one's the best one, that's the one we're going to go with. So let's go ahead and build some more military factories. Uh, well, we could also build more civilians, too. We'll probably do a little bit of both. Let's do military first uh, in this region. And looks like we've already fully built out in Sicily. And then after we get these five military, we'll build a few civilian factories as well. All right, that looks good. And that should keep them distracted for a little while. Because uh, I'd like to get that third line of civilian factories eventually. Uh, so they're just losing miserably here. Just having no success on these attacks. Uh, looks like the Germans have pumped a lot more troops over here to try and save the Turks. Uh, it doesn't help also that the, the French have pushed them back over here, which has resulted in more troops on our borders. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, and damn it, they messed this front up. Let's fix that. Stay here, my friends, stay here. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, we just kind of uh, limited. They did take that port, but the French are just doing this terribly. This is the worst way to do this shit. We're going to get our organization back up. We're almost there. And then we're going to launch our attacks here uh, and see if we can't can't finally get these guys defeated. Uh, we're just going to launch. We're just going to throw everybody into it. Maybe that's not the best way to attack. Um, maybe it's better to attack over here. These German troops are clearly too strong. Um, God, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do what I wanted to do, guys. Uh, we could attempt to attack there instead because it's looking like a little bit weaker. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Let's go and pull these guys back. Maybe attempt to launch an attack there. What we'll do, let's extend that out, let them go over there, and then we'll be able to launch more troops because we'll have uh, one from over here. And we'll attempt to attack right there. Maybe we'll have better odds in that location. I don't know. Uh, let's go and take a look at the situation over here. Uh, and we did get the developed East African colonies. Excellent. Uh, oh, we can do both. I was thinking it was either or. All right, well, we'll grab that free civilian factory up then, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's get the free civilian factory, and then we'll work on those uh, tech bonuses. Uh, and looks like this is going to be a victory, so let's go and launch our troops as well, help out a bit. And um, did they already assign our dockyard that we got? It looks like they did. Uh, okay, excellent. So we don't have to do anything. So I'm not building any troops right now, guys. Uh, we still need more manpower, first of all. 
And and secondly, um, I, I want to focus, as I said before, I really want to focus on just uh, uh, changing up our division designs. And we can't win there. It's because of our, our divisions are so crappy over here, guys. Our, our divisions are really, really cruddy. Uh, and that's going to cause issues trying to use, you know, these really cruddy divisions on uh, main attacks. So the Entente Army Modernization Plan. All right, so the French have proposed a coordinated military modernization plan within the Entente, dubbed the Entente Army Modernization Plan, or simply the EAMP. The French would be willing to fund it for the most part and even would be willing to send military staff to help assist modernization of our armed forces. We could accept or we could decline and if we feel our army is currently up to the standards. Alternatively, we could accept but use the French funds for unrelated use instead of modernizing our armed forces. This, however, would undoubtedly infuriate the French and it would be unlikely to get any future invitations to these plans if we were to pull such a stunt. Okay, so choices. We could do our army could use some improving, let's accept. We get the national spirit. Uh, this is going to increase division organization and army experience gain and change our opinion with the French. Uh, we could say our army is in good state. We must politely decline. Uh, this would, I think this would generate us uh, base stability and political power. Or we can just say accept, but then instead build, build some civilian factories with it. Uh, let's, let's not do that. Uh, I think we're going to accept getting the uh, division organization would be helpful. I don't know if that's permanent, but uh, either way, it's going to, it's going to help. So let's get it. Uh, because we're going to be launching an offensive here in the spring. I feel like they're weak enough that we'll be able to win. And it looks like all of our divisions are not assigned to this front. So let's fix that. Some of them aren't getting planning bonuses. All right, so now we're kind of stuck here because we've got forts right there uh, and a river right here. So any attack we do is going to be costly. Plus is the winner. I will attempt an attack here and just support with our troops. See if we can't win there. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe we can even cut some troops off here. We'll just have to see. Uh, we'd have to take... Well, if we took these two provinces here, we could cut all those guys off. Let's attempt. Because they're looking kind of weak right there. Let's see if we can't get a win right there. A win right here and cut these divisions off. So we don't even have to worry about that damn uh, fortifi fortified province. We did sink a light cruiser there. Uh, and this frontier is, is not good. Uh, we're taking attrition, obviously. Maybe we should look into improving the infrastructure of the region so we weren't taking so much uh, attrition. I don't know, because it feels like this is going to be over soon. And I just don't want to pump. I just We need to get all these troops back onto the German front where they're needed. All right, so we finished up uh, our research over here, and now more 1940 techs have unlocked because it's... 1940, so we definitely want to get those. However, I like to prioritize the computing machines because, you know, obviously you get all the research after that for cheaper. Uh, so we need to change up our infantry equipment here. Okay, and it seems that we're lacking steel. So we'll trade for that. Give more civilian factories to the French. Okay, so yeah, you're seeing a lot less attacks over here. They've just taken significant casualties. Uh, we lost a submarine, unfortunately, to one of their destroyers. All right, well, nothing to be done about that. Uh, do we at least have air superiority over here? We do. All right, I wasn't sure if the French had put planes over here. I don't want to put any planes over here because I'm worried about supply. Looks like there might be... Yeah, there's actually an attack on Constantinople now. They're tempted to come up behind the troops. Uh, and we, we do have their ports now, so if we could just get a victory here, uh, we could possibly, and this looks like the, the uh, better place, and this did get messed up when they took that. So let's just go ahead and pull these guys back. Come on back over here, guys. Everybody come back over here. And I'm going to just have to launch an attack again. If we could just take that damn province, we'll cut these guys off at the very least. Ugh, they're pulling they're pulling their troops back. They know the deal. They know what's happening. All right, well, we're still going to attempt to uh, attack there, see if we can't get a win, uh, and potentially cut off a few divisions. Not as many as we were hoping, uh, but at least, I mean, the French are getting some victories uh, here, uh, little tiny victories. So let's get all our troops placed. Uh, remember, we're getting planning bonuses that entire time. Um, oh, it looks like we took the Fortified Province. That wasn't intentional, but there's been a push forward here because uh, the French are helping us on this offensive. Okay. Uh, these British divisions that we got were extremely helpful, by the way. 
Uh, glad that we grabbed them. Can we get a win here? We could, but we're attacking across the river. No point when we're already about to win. So let's just go ahead and send all the troops across here. Bring them all over here. Grab that province. Uh, we weren't able to cut troops off like I was hoping, but you know what? A victory is a victory. Let's take it. Uh, not complain. Uh, they're attacking us over here from this direction. I think we'll probably launch an attack okay. over there, in fact. Uh, just get them knocked uh, across the river here. Uh, we did get regimental combat teams. Excellent. Uh, do we want to keep going down this line? Um, you know what? We'll get one more, and then before we do the branch, we'll start working on some of those techs that we unlocked. But we'll get that last one there, uh, and then we'll uh, move to something else uh, outside of the doctrines. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. They're stacked up here now. I doubt we'll win. What if we attacked with two? No, there's no way. All right, so let's just pull it back. And then we're going to attempt an attack over this way. Yeah, we just can't get can't get any victories, man. Our, our divisions are too cruddy. And remember, these divisions are really, really bad. I, I, I think what we're going to do, guys, is change up a few of the divisions over here. I, I feel like it would be worth it. But just change like a couple, although supply is such a, tr yeah, maybe not. Supply is such a problem over here. Probably wouldn't be wise. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything over here. We're going to rely completely on the French doing it because uh, our divisions are too cruddy. Uh, they just aren't able to defeat those German divisions. Uh, they're just too good. All right, so we're still waiting for the spring here to launch the offensive. Uh, and we will continue attacking this way, though. Uh, and we got our develop. Let's attack right there. Should be able to, hmm... Maybe we should attack there instead. Yeah, we'll attack there instead. Uh, we got the developed West African colonies. Excellent. That's another civilian factory. Super helpful. Let's go ahead and go this way now. Uh, we're going to get support ship developments. Sure. Why not? Let's get those. I'm guessing those. I didn't look at the which ships they were, but I'm guessing it would be like light ships and destroyers. Uh, so getting more light ships, uh, getting the next light ship for a discount would be nice. Um, so yeah, we're not going to attack over this way, even though I think we could get some victories. I just don't want to take this, the penalties for attacking in the snow. So that's the reason why we're waiting for the spring, guys. Uh, I don't see any reason to exhaust ourselves. Not when the Germans are doing it to themselves. Uh, there's just no reason for it. Uh, so it looks like the French have continued pushing forward over here. I don't think we're going to man that. We're just going to focus on this over here. Uh, it seems that we did lose the attack here, unfortunately. Uh, we're not able, not able to defeat them. Uh, we'll wait till our organization gets up higher before we attempt another attack. This one's now going to fail as well. All right, so I'm just not able to, uh, to make any inroads into that for right now. Um, there is a victory here. Let's, let's help out. Uh, and we'll go ahead and launch an attack here. Oops, I want to attack there. And then we'll lock these guys down at the very least. So then maybe we get a victory there and get those five divisions cut off. Uh, and just, just get something done over here. Because, yeah, we've kind of been in a... A little bit of a stalemate after they took these ports. I mean, they are taking a lot of attrition. Uh, more attrition than we are taking. Uh, well, maybe not to take them back. These guys are taking some heavy attrition. This is, is quite costly for us overall, uh, this conflict. We're sending really shitty divisions into battle. It's just not very wise uh, overall. Uh, so I'm going to attempt again to attack. And let's just see where we have better odds. I would assume we'd have better odds with those guys. Uh, let's just pull this back. It does say green, but I'm sure it's going to go the other way. Uh, that's a little bit better, not much, but we'll attempt to do that attack there because if we win here and win here, then we can cut those guys off. Uh, we can try to anyways. All right, uh, no division, divisions of basic training. I know, only have 480,000 manpower, man. Uh, can we not change? I think we can. Let's go ahead and change our conscription laws up to extensive. Yeah, get a bit more manpower because manpower is an issue. Uh, we almost have air experience up where I'm going to go ahead and spend it on one of our planes. Though, we're about to get the next plane, so we'll have to be wise about which ones we spend it on. It does look like we lost there, unfortunately. Damn, man. All right. We'll just keep on sending attacks in, even if they're stupid attacks. Uh, this is all you can really do. Uh, so did we win here? All right, well, we're losing there. Let's attack these guys instead, just to help up on this defense. And that's also green, so... Makes more sense. Doesn't look like we're going to win there. Having uh, just a lot of difficulty on this front getting anything done, unfortunately. All right, so we'll just go ahead and let them sit there and get their organization back up. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we're going to send these guys over this way. Ah, that's not going to work. All right. Yeah, nothing really going to happen over there. Uh, still seeing some shitty weather, uh, but the French are starting to advance now, so that's excellent. Uh, we are going to defend... 
all territory that's ours, and of course this is across a river, uh, so it'd be a lot easier to advance up there. Uh, the problem right now is that our uh, fronts are too large for what for the number of troops we have. So I'm just going to bring this up like this, so I can bring the Red Army back, and they'll just have to. They'll just have to spread out, and they just won't be able to launch attacks anyway. They're not really being all that successful in their attacks, so, yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, so, let's go and get something over here. We're going to get... Let's get bomber development. Okay. Uh, see how things went here? It looks like we did get a victory there. Excellent. So, now we need to destroy those divisions, but it looks like the... Uh, I keep saying the French, but in fact, this is uh, the Union of South Africa that's over here. All right. Well, that's awesome. Um, what we're going to do is let's... Oh, well, that's fine. They're, they're in the province. Uh, we need to win here. Uh, it'd be better if we could win across the river there. But that's not going to happen. No matter what, we're going to have to attack across the river, though. So, <sighs> yeah, this is this is going to be a rough uh, because you can see 10 divisions here. It almost feels like we're just going to have to let them take the attrition. Uh, and I think we're just going to stay on the defense there. That's probably the wisest move. Uh, so we now have another event, the Intent Pilot Training Plan. Uh, following up on their last plan, France has proposed the Entente Pilot Training Plan. Focus on teaching our pilots the elaborate safety routines in order to curtail air accidents. We could accept or we could decline if we feel our pilots are currently up to standards. Alternatively, we could accept. Okay, so same thing as last time. Um, yeah, I don't know why we wouldn't accept it. Yeah, I think we should accept. So let's go and do that. This is going to really strengthen us. We shall accept. Uh, we have military factories to get assigned. Let's go ahead and, and do that. Um... Just taking a look at the situation. We have a lot of support equipment right now. So let's pump our factories into something else. Uh, it seems artillery is pretty bad. Let me just take a look at the stockpiles. Uh, it seems light self for artillery and anti-tanks are the needs. All right, so we need a lot of anti-tank. So let's go ahead and pump a bunch of factories into that. I think that would be our wisest move. There we go. Um, it seems resource situation is different now, so... Make some trades here. Make some deals. Wheel and deal. There we go. Uh, and I, I think we're about ready to launch our offensive. Let's attempt to. Um, I wanted to across this river, but that got messed up. So let's just extend this. Yeah, we want to be across the river. Oh, we are across the river. No, no, no. It's that river I want to get across. All right, so let's see if we can't launch some attacks. See if there's some weak uh, locations here. We'll start just kind of pinpricking them. Uh, seeing where uh, where they're weakest. Uh, obviously, we want to uh, favor attacks uh, that are not across rivers. Let's go and launch an attack here. Not that guy. These guys. Should be able to get a win there. That looks pretty easy overall. Yeah, that's going to be a win. Definitely. All right, so we're going to let those guys continue to advance. And let's send these ones over here to help out in that attack. Start pushing the Germans back there. Uh, looking for other uh, weak locations. Looks like we could be get a win here. Let's go and attack. Excellent. We're going to send another division over there. Help them out. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to beat them there, but I'll take a look. Yeah, that's not going to be a victory. Maybe we send a ton of divisions. All right, there we go. I said four divisions are a ton. Uh, we can tempt another attack here. Probably not going to win. We don't have as many divisions on this front any longer. Uh, now that it's stretched out. Really, this is... The Purple Front is really just a defensive front. I kind of want to get the Germans defeated first. Um, they're feeling weak. Let's go and attack them there. Uh, knock them out uh, over across the river there. Uh, should be able to get a victory here, hopefully. We'll see. There's a lot of divisions there, but I don't think it's impossible that we can achieve it. Uh, let's go ahead and send divisions behind them. And you guys attack over that way. And let's send one more up over here. Try and get behind these divisions if we can. Um, let's just go back, swing over to this front, make sure nothing's changed. Yeah, this is... We're going to be stuck there for a while. Oh, air experience. My bad. I let that stack, uh, stock up when I knew that we needed to do something there. Okay, so we know we're going to go for fighters first, and that's going to be in 1941. At the mod... No, 1940, excuse me. Um, so we actually have 50% bonuses for all these. Huh, so how long would it take to get them? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to spend a slight amount of experience because we're going to be able to get the close air support and fighters qu pretty quick. So we'll spend it on the Navy bombers, naval bombers and just not spend all of it. Uh, just like tick them up just a little bit like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'll make sure that we're not, uh, you know, letting our air experience go to waste. Let's go ahead and decommission those ones and get... These ones going in. All right, excellent. Um, 
So we're not even using our naval bombers, really. Uh, we haven't needed to, but we don't really have enough. Uh, so we're just going to uh, stock it up. We can use it against the Soviets when we go to war with them. Uh, so let's go back to the German front and see if we can't get some victories. Um, I would like to cut those guys off, uh, which should be easy enough. When do they leave here? Let's just attack here with all these troops. Attack right there and try and get a, a victory. That does look like they're stacking more divisions over here, so I don't know how well that's going to go. We did win here. Let's go and see if we can't grab that province down. Come on, guys. Go. Go, go, go. Did win here. Um, which actually isn't desirable because we're about to cut troops off. Uh, seeing if there's other fronts where it's opened up. Not really. Uh, this this up here, we, we don't really have enough divisions up there. So we're not going to be able to do much. Uh, we do have these guys that they got to defend. Let's go ahead and try and get up behind some troops. And let's get these guys going over this way. Uh, luckily, we have the French behind us who are able to kind of plug these holes in so I can keep pushing forward. Not worry so much about divisions getting cut off. Can't win there. There's no chance of winning there right now. Uh, don't want them to leave here, though. Uh, what I would love is if we could attack them again once all these divisions leave. So let's just keep on pulling them back here. Uh, we were able to advance over here. Let's see if we can't. Oh, that would require us to attack that Russian division. That's not really what I want. Hmm. All right, well, I want to get behind these guys. So let's see if we can't... Yeah, we have to attack that tank. Let's see if we can't beat the tank. We are going to lose here, so let's go ahead, and this is going to result in all of our troops getting cut off. Let's go and attack them here. Let's bring the tanks up over here, and then let's send these guys in right there, try and hold them back. Uh, we are going to go ahead and attack across the river, even though it doesn't. it's not optimum. Uh, we need to lock these units down so they don't defeat that one unit there, that uh, South African unit. Uh, and... Looking pretty good across the front. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities to cut divisions off. That's what I want to see here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't beat these guys. No, we can't. Let's just pull it back. No, don't go there. I don't think we're going to win at all on this front. We just don't have uh, the numbers right now. Uh, so attempting still to get more troops over here before they capitulate. Can we do it before they uh, surrender? Excellent. We did get our division there. Very, very nice. That means we can pull these guys back. Don't need them to do that stupid attack any longer. Not going to be able to win here, so we're just going to have to pull it back. They put too many troops over there unfortunately. Um, but looking pretty good overall. We did get some divisions cut off. That's the kind of shit that I want to see. Uh, so let's just go ahead and attack them with this division. Uh, doesn't look like that's going to be a successful attack, so let's just pull it back. Uh, and we're just going to have to wait until they exhaust themselves a little bit before we attempt any more further attacks there. Uh, I don't want to attack you guys here anymore. I want to cut you off uh, if I can. Let's looking for other opportunities that are opened up. There's really nothing. Uh, we need to get more divisions over here. But the front is really uh, starting to not go uh, how the Germans would want. Yeah, this is going quite bad for them. Uh, so let's go ahead and attempt to get these guys wiped out. This would free up some divisions. So we'll go ahead and attack here. We should be able to win now. Yeah, uh, slowly but surely, they'll exhaust themselves. Uh, and we now are trading for too much steel. Let's go and tick that down a bit. Uh, and uh, it's just one oil. Not too worried about it. All right, so we'll go ahead and support this attack here. And then we're going to send these guys in. Just trying to get them wrapped up, free up some divisions. Uh, we can't do anything over here, unfortunately. They, they fucked it all up. Ah, damn you, Germany. A lot of troops over here. A lot of troops, guys. Um, yeah, that is a ridiculous amount of troops. Huh. They're looking a lot stronger than I was expecting, uh, honestly. Yeah. I thought they were... Just about beat. I mean, I'm seeing some divisions with some really low... I think it's because these are all not German divisions. That's what it is. The German divisions are incredibly weak. While all of their allies are still going strong. Um, so we could get Air Doctrine. We haven't started on those yet. Uh, so I'm sure we'll want to do that. Uh, we also need to go down that branch. Yeah, I guess we can go ahead and go after the Air Doctrines. You know what? Let's do these. I think that'd be... Better to get first. Okay, um, so did anything change over here? No, nothing has changed. We're still in the same crappy situation over there. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, and manpower starting to tick up. Very, very good. Uh, still seeing some of our units have you know low strength. Uh, so we're not going to build anything yet. I'm just going to wait. And plus, I want to change some of those militia troops up if we can. Uh, so we did get the engineer company twos. Uh, and the French offer to levy dockyard construction. Uh, hell yeah. And we'll take those dog yards. And let's go ahead and uh, do something with this uh, this tech slot. Uh, I think I said I was going to do planes next. 
Yes, let's do the fighters. Need to win in the air war. Not that the Germans have many planes left themselves. They have less than we do, and we don't have much of a navy. Okay, so we have... We don't hardly have any going towards the carriers, so let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, let's just pull back from the battleships. Actually, let's pull back from the battleships a lot and really start pumping into those uh, carriers. Uh, convoys could do with another dockyard as well, and it seems that our steel is uh, lacking. Let's go and trade again. All right, guys, so that is actually going to be the end of this episode. We made good progress here in uh, Turkey. We're just about done, but we're kind of stuck. We're in a stalemate now. This is going to be really difficult because attacking here does require us to attack uh, both in the mountains and across a river. Uh, so it's yeah, it's, it's pretty crappy overall. And of course, we have another mountain province we're trying to attack here. But the main point here is that they are taking way more attrition than we are. It's just a, such a shame. I almost want to pull my divisions off because I don't like them sitting here taking all this attrition. Uh, what I'm considering doing is like getting rid of some of them or, or moving them at the very least uh, out of the region the supply region uh, which i think yeah, is this whole area here so like moving them back down to the coast and then increasing the size of the ones that remain there uh, so they'll be a little bit more effective in battle uh, because those militia troops don't have anything uh, so that might be what we end up doing over there uh, over here we we made a nice little offensive nice spring offensive Took some land, uh, cut off a few troops, uh, but now we're kind of stuck. Uh, it's it's going to be kind of difficult to, to advance again. But looking at the casualties, 3.21 million uh, casualties the Germans have faced, and we have done 1.7 of that, so over half of it. Uh, the Dutch have lost 311,000, the Turks 278,000, uh, while on our side... We have lost only 172,000 men. That's not bad at all. British 249. Uh, just seeing other high numbers here. 118 for Sweden. They've really gotten involved in the conflict. 520,000 for the French. And uh, yeah, it looks, it looks it. Of course, the Polish lost 626 on their attempt to not capitulate. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Kind of look at uh, what we did uh, in the channel. Just mainly sunking, uh, sunk plenty of... Uh, convoys. I'm hoping those are troops and not just supplies. There's a lot of them, so you'd expect some of them to be troops. And maybe that's how some of those casualties were done, that we done to the Germans, or just here in the channel. Uh, so if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Love talking to you guys. I read and reply to all comments. And I uh, hope to see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.